Today, cauliflower. A lot of kids don't like cauliflower. I'm gonna try to make it appealing to the kids. Different, with a better taste. A lot of kids don't like a cauliflower because it's a little bit bitter or it's a little bit, it's not their favorite thing. We're gonna make it just look like a mashed potato. But what a taste. And garnished with a little tree on top. You'll see, perfect. Now, those cauliflower I'm gonna show you all have different color. When I was a kid, there was only one kind of cauliflower, the white one. And oh, was not that good when you're a kid for cauliflower. Now they all have beautiful color. Look at that. Purple, orange, green, and the regular white one. Isn't that wonderful? The purple one have antioxidant. The orange one have carotene. They're beautiful. They're not genetically altered. First, let me show you how to make the plate more appealing for the kids. The way we're gonna decorate the top of the plate will be more for fun for the kids to eat their cauliflower. Now, you pick up the largest cauliflower you can find on the market. Nice white cauliflower. And I'll be cutting from this two nice slices of it. about an inch and a half or an inch, fairly thick. You take a good knife, a bread knife would be the best thing to do it. And another slice. And this will be like a tree on top of your plate. Perfect. Now, you have your two beautiful slices of cauliflower. Now, we, I'll be trimming a little bit of the green to make it look like a tree. See, cut the side. All the green from the cauliflower. There, there it is. Now you can see, isn't that look like a tree? Do the same thing with the second slice. And we have two nice slices of cauliflower who look like a tree. This will be to garnish your plate. Now what we'll do, we're gonna cook those beautiful slices of cauliflower. A little bit of water. Season your water with a little pepper, salt, a little bit of olive oil and you put those beautiful tree in it and you'll be cooking those for about 15-20 minutes. You'll see until they're really nice and tender. Cover them and that's it. We'll wait until this is cooked. Next, it's very easy. I picked up a nice purple cauliflower. It's for the kids, it's one of the mildest in taste. Then I will be putting uh, some potato on it to make it even milder. And it be a nice mash cauliflower with potato on it. Now I have my little tree boiling and I'm gonna check, I don't wanna overcook them, I just want to be a little bit firm. So you take your knife and punch a little bit to find out. Maybe another few minutes, and that will be perfect. So, for our next step, we're gonna clean up this beautiful purple cauliflower, which for the kids is always the mildest. We remove the green, and we'll use a potato that way it'd be really nice and nice. You put the potato in boiling water. In the same time, you can cut your cauliflower in a smaller piece. Makes no difference because we're gonna mash it later on. Cover it up and cook it until it's cooked for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, let me see. I taste it with the knife. Perfect, it's cooked. It took only a few minutes 
So let me push it away and we'll use it for our garniture later. Now, let me see. Oh, this is perfect. This is cooked. So what we'll do, we're going to drain the, ca the cauliflower who's been cooked with the potato. Nicely. Perfect. Now it's nicely drained. We put in, you can put it back in the same pot you cook it or to show you the way I do it is just to put it on the bowl. Now, let me show it to do it. We all made mashed potato prior before, so it's exactly the same thing. You season your cauliflower and potato, you put a little bit milk or cream, butter, always use butter, but if you don't want butter, you can always put margarine in it. Then what we'll do, we'll mash the whole thing. Now you see it's nicely mashed. We all did mashed potato, so it's exactly the same process. Instead of having all potato, you have cauliflower and potato. Let me try to see if it tastes, you know, the, for the seasoning. Mmm! A little bit more salt. And that will be perfect. Kids love raisin. So why not putting it in your cauliflower mash? You know, you just take a little bit of water and we're gonna just put them for a minute to be nicely plump. Then after a minute, minute and a half, when they nicely plump, you can drain them. Perfect. Then you put them in your mashed potato or mashed cauliflower. Now you raise them around, you mix them. Perfect. It'll add a little sweetness to the cauliflower. Then you put them in a nice bowl. There it is. Isn't that nice? Everybody would love that. Now, remember those beautiful tree we made with that white cauliflower? We put it right there in the middle. Look at this. Then, for decoration, I got a few cranberry, dry cranberry, and you put them just like they were hanging from the beautiful tree. There it is. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I'm sure everybody would love to have something like that for their dinner. There it is. Now I did exactly the same recipe with a green cauliflower. But instead of putting raisin in it, I'm going to put the cranberry, which I plump for a minute in the water, the same thing. So you mix your cranberry in your nice cauliflower mash completely there it is now since I did exactly the same recipe with the green cauliflower I'm gonna do exactly the same presentation take your cooked cauliflower steak like we did before garnish here raisin on top of it they've been plumped a minute and this is perfect now Look at this! Isn't that beautiful? If my mother would have served cauliflower that way when I was a kid, I would have ate the whole thing! Let me try. I'm going to try the cauliflower here, the purple one, with a nice piece of the tree there, and I'll tell you what it tastes like. Mmm, really, really good. A glass of milk as a kid, fantastic.